we love cocktails. Usually, if we're showing or sharing a cocktail with you guys, my husband John is whipping one up, or our buddy Charles Jolie, world-class bartender, is here. Today, we're going to do a different kind of mixology. We're going to do cocktails for the face, and here to help us out, she's our beauty mixologist. This lovely lady is Anna D'Souza. Anna, everybody. Everybody, Anna. First of all, Anna looks smoking hot in a dress that matches our logo, so thank you, Anna. <laughs> person who does spend a fair amount of money a year on skincare and I really care about the quality of ingredients on my face but there's probably a lot of stuff we could be doing ourselves right exactly well going to the department store that could be so pricey so can going to the dermatologist mm -hmm. but with a little bit of mixing we're gonna be able to get similar quality with products that you already have at home and this is what you do for a living do you do this for yourself I do. at home that's my mom okay okay she knows. Knows. okay she okay. brags about it so first First, we have a set of twins. Do not adjust your set. There are two of them. We have Jessica yes. and Chelsea. Chelsea has. Chelsea does not have a weird skin condition. She has a mask on her face. We will catch up. We're going to begin with the mask itself, right? Right. We're going to begin with almost like a glycolic acid peel that you would get at a dermatologist, right? If you think about it, I don't know if you've ever had one done, three to four hundred dollars a pop can be very pricey, but you can do this. We can do this. We're going to do this ourselves Plus, here. That's like a week's income for most people, it at really least. Is. Yeah, it's, it's a so lot of money. Pricey. Right. But we're going to bill nigh this. So you've mixed up a few cocktails, right? But this is a beauty cocktail. So go ahead. We have about, we have a few tablespoons of baking soda in Put here. Put it in here or in here? We can actually do it in here. In the big so boat? baking soda. Baking soda? Now lemon? you're going to go in and, oh, so you're doing this like professionally here with the <laughs> lemon up. Lemon cut side so, up. Oh, perfect. And then a crushed up aspirin. What's that going to do? Okay, so as this is great. Aspirin, it has salicylic acid. It's a beta hydroxy <gasps> acid. It's oil soluble. So uh, uh, salicylic acid you use for acne products, right? Do you know how much cheaper aspirin is than anything <laughs> that's got the whatever she said acid in it? Right? It's oil soluble, so it's going to go in deeper. Can into I miss? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Mix, because you got to whisk this up. So okay, there you go. We want to apply it right onto Jessica's face. Now, actually, smells delicious. It smells like it? what I would put on asparagus. <laughs> it smells delightful and it's so cheap, right? So the lemon is really brightening, which is really great. So lemon has alpha hydroxy acid. So that's going to help unglue all of the dead skin cells that you have on the surface. So if you're suffering with hyperpigmentation, discoloration from sun damage, this is a great mask for you. Everybody suffers from that in the summer, right? Because we're all nincompoops, right? We get drunk on the summer like, this feels so good. <laughs> and we stay outside. Exactly. So we'll let her, <laughs> yes, exactly. We'll we're, let you stay on cook like a nice ceviche. <laughs> <laughs> it feels great. It does feel good, right? It's just nice and tingly. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now with Chelsea, we're going to remove it. Now, the, the magic in the baking soda is when you remove it. So now that it's dried, you see that it's dried onto the skin, baking soda has very tiny, tiny granules that are going to be able to sloth off all of those dead skin cells and the sebum that the alpha and the beta hydroxy acids have brought to the surface. So then you go in, you so the acids bring it up and the baking soda sloughs it off. Yes. Essentially. Right. In a much gentler way than a lot of other scrubs on the market because a lot of times they have jagged edges. Now, baking soda is very, very fine. That's right. So it's not going to give you any of those micro tears and that you might get. they smell really good and they probably already have this stuff. The baking soda's in the fridge, girls, keeping mm -hmm, things from getting mm -hmm, smelly. Mm -hmm, you know. mm -hmm. <laughs> It feels good, right? right? So it, how does it, it feel? It feels fantastic. It, um, it is really tight, actually. It doesn't, it feels, really, it feels really right. Tightening. It feels yeah. whoop, mm -hmm. like it's all whoop, what, way up here. Yay! Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. tightening and brightening and toning. Mm -hmm. So tightening, brightening, toning, and you did it with a lemon juice and an aspirin. That's great. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice and done. Moving along. So what's next, Anna? Because you have three different tips for us here. What's next? Exactly. Oh, this so is Maureen. Maureen, everyone. Hello. Everyone. <laughs> Right. Very pretty color on you, Maureen. It brings out your eyes. Thank you, Rachel. It does, right? You're welcome, Beautiful. sweetheart. So now we're actually going to be cocktailing drugstore makeup to, cre to create prestige department store makeup that you've been drooling over. 
I try yeah. not to drool in public, especially when there's not food involved, but okay. Okay. So, so what am I doing now? The first one here. So now we did one coat of mascara on both eyes. Now we're going to come in. I'm going to come in and with regular mascara. Now you're going to have your drugstore mascara at home and you're going to be able to plump up the volume. Now everyone is purchasing those fiber lash mascaras. You've heard of them, right? Yeah. I, I, I look so crazy when I try and use those. I look like an extra from Dr. Strangelove or something. <laughs> it's like... Like, oh. They look like Elvira went wrong and some bugs done died on my eyes. Okay. So, so what basically, you just put on there? we are going to just use hurt? baby powder. No. Oh, baby powder. A little bit of baby powder. Now, what baby powder does is it mm. basically helps to give your la each lash a little bit more surface area. So when you come in with that second coat of mascara, it's going to give you more volume. I got so it's going to look like you have more lashes than you actually have. So again, you want to do a thin coat of the baby powder, then you want to come back in, you want to do it while it's still wet, then you want to come in with another layer of mascara. You want to make sure that you're not wearing contacts. If you wear contacts, you want to take them off. Take a look at that. There you go. It's nice and look thick on that side. Right. Good. All right, what's the middle one? Okay. So this next one, you head it over and you purchase Prestige um, Foundation. It could be very pricey, and what you're getting is you're getting you're paying for a lot of water. Now, mm -hmm. if you think about it, concealer is highly pigmented, and you know concealer almost becomes foundation as they're making it, you know, for for consum for consumers. So all you do is you grab your favorite concealer that matches your skin tone. You mix so it you with... So you want to match your tone because sometimes you buy concealer lighter than your skin tone to do circles and stuff. Right. You want to get a concealer that actually matches, matches your face. Matches your face. Okay. And then what I love about this is that you're going to mix it with some oil-free foundation... Uh, oil-free oil moisturizer. Moisturizer. Right. And you're going to be able to create your own custom foundation every single morning. So depending on whether you need full coverage or you're just looking for a little bit of a BB cream, this is such a great solution because you can make it as you're thin gonna, or as thick as exactly, you like. Exactly. I love this. And another thing I really love. I think love, you have a concealer, you have circles for that and a separate one for your face part. Exactly. Good. It's easier to carry the concealer. Off That's than right. Yeah. Then there's, then the, and, and especially if you're traveling a lot and you have to get on and off airplanes, you can't carry the large bottles of anything anymore. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It's so great for travel. And then I love too that. Um, if you think about it, one of the biggest beauty snafus is if you're using, let's say, a mattifying foundation, but then you're going in with a satin finish concealer, you're going to be able to see that line of demarcation right. with the two different finishes. So this is great because you're actually keeping it mirrors really the consistent. two products. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, we got time for one more. What's that? One? This makes me so so excited. Everyone should know about this because. Okay. Everyone's flocking over to the department store for those long wear velvet lipsticks, but turns out you have this in your arsenal right now. You own long wear lipstick. You actually just have to grab any of the powders that you have in your cabinet, whether it's... Eye or, or cheek. Yes. So okay. blushes or um, eyeshadows. So this is so great. So all you do is you use your finger to apply it onto your lips. So you're staining your lip with the pigment. Exactly. So you're staining your lip with the pigment. It's going to last all day. And if you think about it, lipsticks all start off as a, um, as a powder. So if you're applying it straight, and what I love about this hack too is that let's say you want to experiment with, that or with an orange lipstick, for instance, or you want to experiment with a lavender shade. This is really easy because you already have this. Probably in an eye palette, right? Exactly. Whereas you, you might wouldn't buy it for your it. mouth. Right, right, right. Then you and finish then you're gonna it up. Some, it, you just put on some chapstick or cocoa butter or whatever. Right. You want to look for a beeswax type of... Um, cool. Gloss. So don't go too glossy because you're, it's not going to last all day. And it's all very, very, like, really barely makeup, the no makeup makeup look, exactly. and with stuff that you can travel with easily. Exactly. And I, I would assume, because you're such a pretty girl, it doesn't look like you wear a lot of makeup. This is more along the lines you would do this rather than wear a lot of... Yeah, I prefer right. something simple and more affordable, because I'm, at the moment, I'm a new mom and I'm going oh. back to work, so... Bless your heart! I, you have a boy you. or a girl? I have a girl. Oh, what's yeah. her name? Isabel. Hi, Isabel!